69. Number one. Chavod. Is one allowed? Baruch Hashem, we're back on the YouTube for the YouTube YouTubers. And uh, we're able to distribute Torah this way. Okay. Is one allowed? Chavod, David. One allowed to heal constipation by drinking juice on Shabbat. So we said that so far, if you let's refresh our memory since, since Shabbat passed over a whole weekend. <laughs> so we have a hundred percent healthy. We have a hundred percent sick. Sick, not critical. Been in bed. Yeah, he's not critical, but he's in bed or needs to be in bed. Even though he's walking, but he's weak to the point he needs to be in bed. This is the two sides of the coin, and then we have the middle guy. What is the middle guy? He's not 100% healthy, but he's not 100% sick. But he's not uh, so bad to the point he needs to be in bed. Right? So these people, the restriction of healing, you're not allowed to heal on Shabbat. The healing restriction is applicable only to that middle guy. The guy is 100% healthy, he can take things that only sick people will take. He enjoys it, he's allowed to. Another guy that is 100% sick, he's in bed, he needs, he's allowed to take any medications and heal himself on Shabbat. Who is the only one that is not allowed? Mm-hmm. The middle guy. That if he is sick, he's in pain, but he's not 100% sick to the point he needs to be in bed. Yeah, good? So now we need to define another thing in the, in, the, in the equation is, what does sickness mean? So last time we spoke about a lady that cannot give birth, and she wants to take different type of treatment in order to give birth. Is that considered be sickness? The lack of ability to get pregnant, is it sickness? What if a person right now has the other way around? He's too fertile. He wants to be not having kids. That's yeah. He wants to. He needs six months. Six months off after birth. He needs. A, can she take medications on Shabbat? By taking medications on Shabbat, does she heal the situation or is she avoiding the situation? Avoid. Avoid. So now we're speaking about what about constipation? Lo aleno. Is constipation considered a sickness? Or it's considered to be uh, just uh, not, it's a healthy guy. If he has family, if there's he has another pamphlet here for you. If he has constipation, then give him it's, page 369. Uh, now David is going to read, then you're going to read. Is How it would it constipation? Answer one is allowed to heal constipation by drinking juice. So, that's hmm? all I have. yeah, that's all we have. Number two, How about number two? How about okay, but why, Robert? Huh? Why? Because he's not cold. Okay. Read number two. Is it allowed to make an enema on Shabbat? This is an injection of liquid into the rectum. Answer. If there is a big pain, one is allowed to make an enema abnormally. Abnormally. So we're going to see what it means. Abnormally. Yeah. Let's see right. how. Number three. Is it allowed to insert a suppository on Shabbat? This is a candle that is to be inserted into one's mm-hmm. exterior. Potential issue is healing and possibly detaching the hair. Yeah, but that's not your, your intention to detach the hair. Answer, we follow Maran who wrote Shukhanoro, Orachayim, Siman 32849, that one is allowed to put a suppository abnormally, such as using two fingers instead of one. So remember, using two fingers, something that usually being done with one finger, Shukhanoro calls it a Shinui. Mm-hmm. It's important to remember, sometimes you need to turn off the light for a sick guy. So if you usually turn off the light with one finger, you don't have to go with the elbow. No. So Hanuk says, even two fingers, it's already shinui. Uh, who, who goes with two fingers to turn off a light? Usually people don't do that. Yeah. Huh? You put one finger and you turn on, turn off. I, if I two put two, that's already shinui. That's already a change. So a change doesn't have to be a crazy change with the nose, with the elbows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the fact, the fact you did different. That's already considered to be a shinui, and we have a proof to that. It's not just an assumption. Shulchan Aruch brought us a proof that if a person usually pushes in the suppository with one finger, on Shabbat, you should do it two with two fingers. That's considered to be shinui. There's a, a device to, put, to do it. Today we have devices. Well, like in the day, there's device. fingers. Device? So, today they make device for everything, no? Like in a Continue. Plastic. They need to charge insurance to do something. The whole point mm-hmm. of shinui is just to remind you that this is really not allowed, and you're doing it? Hmm? The whole point of Shinui is just to remind you this is really not allowed and you're just doing it? No, no, because we want to avoid as much as possible Isu. Not to do the Chathila. Let's see further. Whenever the Magen Abraham restricted an enema, that was only for a person that has only minor pain. But when a person really suffers, it's allowed. Especially according to the Macham Sham, 
who said that an enema is restricted only with special substances, but with water or oil that softening the stool is allowed. Got it? Is that because so that's another screen? important rule to remember. The laws of healing only applies when you put some substance of healing. Water is not considered to be a substance of healing. Hot water. So hot water, water, water is not a substance of healing by halakha. So the restriction, well, the remember, because remember the logic. What's the logic of healing? Chachamim said, yeah, Krizma. Chachamim said, don't heal on Shabbat. Gabriel, what's the reason Chachamim said not to heal on Shabbat? Because a person might go ahead and... Crush. crush on Shabbat. Remember that? So if crushing on Shabbat, what does crushing applies to? Only something that it is a substance. But the laws of crushing does not apply to water. If I take water and I bang it with a spoon, with a fork, whatever it is, am I crushing it? Am I crushing it? No. Got it? Go ahead, enjoy. Сегодня бесплатно работай. Sometimes I'm afraid to announce because people might think, oh, you show again, waste of time. I'm afraid sometimes to, uh, to announce that there is food. Continue. I know our guys over here are very serious guys, you know? They don't want to stay. Bechor, this is wet. When it's wet, you need to either dry it or Next. Number four. Four. Does one have to be concerned about the removal of the hair while inserting it? The suppository. Yeah. Answer. Since he's not doing it with a special tool, it's only rabbinically restricted. Shabbat 94b. And because he's not intending to... So removing a hair with fingers, not with a special tool, it's the rabbana. So when a person is pushing Shabbat, when a, the attack, whatever it is, it's only the Rabbanan. Removing hair to be the Oraita, you need to have it by tools. Either pinceta, either scissors, right? You're so doing it with a tool. Accidentally, how much more? So even more than you. So when a person is pushing the suppository into his rectum, his intention is not, his intention to, is not to detach the hair. Yeah. Ah, maybe it's guaranteed to happen. When you want to meet a Volos Parviotza. It's a... In which level? The Rabbanan. You care for the hair that came out? No. You're not going to make a... to pay from it. <laughs> huh? Yeah, by the lawyer. But for the same reason. For the same reason, yeah. Go ahead. I mean. Because he's not intending to remove the hair, it counts. To pay is a week for men. Волос, как фейк волос. Окей? Но он хотел что-то продать. Я такие не покупаю. Let's go. Because it's not intended to remove the hair, it and Rav Yosef says, listen, between us, it's not all, all, also guaranteed to happen. Every time you're going to put something inside there, hair is going to detach. No. So if it's not guaranteed to happen, I do A. And my intention is A. And not guaranteed B will happen. What Allah? No Pasik Heshet. And not guaranteed B will happen. Then it's 100% Allah. Pasik Heshet for sure is going to happen. Right. Very good. Next. Enjoy the fruits of Otay. Five. Is there a difference between Don't the suppository you know. of their time, the Gemara, and nowadays? Five answer. Nowadays, a suppository does not last in the body, but rather it melts, and therefore it's allowed to be inserted even regularly. In here? The device, with a device? Yeah, the suppositories. The device is even easier. The device is meant to ease the thing inside without any removal of hair. The right is okay. 100% okay, I'm telling you. You're telling me the right. I'm telling you 100%. Okay. Now. We said it's not, but with the finger, it's only one. It's not the right today. No, 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 no. He says the whole reason why Maran required that you should make a change, Shinui, is because Maran spoke about as a passatory that. Maybe hair comes. That? No, 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 forget about yes. the hair. Me, that is. A, a suppository does not last in the body, but rather it melts nowadays. And therefore, it is allowed to be inserted even regularly. 
Back in the day, it didn't oh, melt. Okay. Nowadays, it melts. So since it melts, yeah. it's even more lenient. It's not a long-lasting thing. What do they do with this time? Huh? What do they do? I don't know. So why do you need that they, in those days? They make they, they, <laughs> until they go to the... I don't know. I, well, I'm not a doctor. So nowadays, says Alvar Yosef, you're allowed to do it even regularly. Not that we pile some. I didn't pile some to Jumon. It's a pository on Shabbat. Svechka. On the back, back, Eta. The person needs it on Shabbat. 100% allowed regularly. Adin Palsam Tosha Pajam. Or with the device, as you're saying. We can't say with the animal the same thing? That? That you're inserting it. Doing the same thing, it just who said that if he does it with water only, yeah. just to yeah. loosen up the stool, then it's even more lenient. It just doesn't apply the laws of healing, exactly. the restrictions yeah. of healing does not apply to water. Got it? Element, Klisma. Yeah. Make sure you don't have enemy. <laughs> Why the? Continue. Next, huh? Is one allowed to remove a bandage on Shabbat if it's attached to the hair? No, no, no. I think Ari read the answer and then told us. Answer. One is allowed to remove a bandage on Shabbat even if it's attached to the hair. Bandage. 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 Same thing, no? Bandage. Bandage. What's the difference? I'm going to ask you about Shabbat. You can't remember. Now you go to the house, all the people, all the people, millions of community, a whole thing, believe me. So it's, allowed because, it's, allowed, so it's allowed because you don't care, you don't care about the hair. Why is it allowed? Yeah. <laughs> so why is it allowed? Okay, because we don't care about the hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's a band-aid. We don't care about the head, that's why it's allowed? It's Very good. Amir, we're going to get certified. Because it's destruction. Yes. We don't care about the destruction. Yes. Next. Arif Havot, 370. I'm going to make you rabbi. <laughs> rabbi Amir. Balaam, Balaam, Khonet. We're going to go to the next one. Was it in the bucket? In the bucket of hot water to heal hemorrhoids since the treatment that does not contain evil substance is permitted. Hot water. Sit down. Hot water. 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 No, not not hearing. Oh. You can you can also do it through the crown. Crown, yeah. Crown we spoke about this already. No, I know. But it's I'm saying that water that's that's over here, that's talking about with the bucket. That was prepared before Shabbat? Why is that to be before Shabbat? Even on Shabbat. Even on Shabbat is okay. Okay. He's all allowed to Next. smear his hands and legs with oil on Shabbat to remove Drunkness. Because do you know when a person is drunk? Shamaim yeah. is drunk. Yeah. If you put oil yeah. on his hands yeah. and on his legs, oil. Oil, any oil. Should it says it up? sucks away the drunkness. Really? Wow. talks about it. Can you do that on Shabbat or no? One is allowed to smear his hands and legs with oil to remove the drunkness. What's the reason? Because, Do you know? Because that's not for healing. Do you know? Because when a person drink wants to drink a lot of vodka, a lot of alcohol, he needs to have fat. When you eat shashlik or, or fat, alcohol It's a rule in in, in alcohol. So the molecules of fats are in the oil. Now which which pores do you have in your skin that absorbs? Yeah, when there is food. Ah. My rachta is it? Rachta. Akai, akai. What is this scam? You hear it, Eliyahu? Bechor. Pad mikraskopum. Eliyahu, we missed you. Welcome back. I was asking about you.
So, Bechol, where is a lot of pores that absorbs in the body the highest level? In your arm and in your on your legs. So Hanel talks about it. So that, by the way, if you want any anything to absorb in your body, the most important places to put it is here and there on the bottom. The bottom feet. Feet. In your feet and your bottom of your feet. Yeah. 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 Or they put garchitza. That's the Shulchan Aruch Bechor talks about it. It says you want to bring fat molecules into your blood stream in order to reduce the alcohol problem. Put oil here. Put oil over there. Shabbat. Moshe to tell it. Allowed. Next. Why does it say the reason why? It means we'll be Shabbat. didn't explain why. Oh, what is, it, you say? is it because it's not healing? That's why? Yeah, it's being drunk is not sickness. Right. That's why. It's sickness to get drunk. <clears throat> but once you're drunk, it's not, you're not sick. Yeah, next. Is it permissible to perform? Ah, read, you read. On your own shkiz. Ah, shkiz, okay. That <laughs> next. <laughs> is it permissible to perform healing on Shabbat? By uttering, uttering, uttering specific magical or uh -huh, incantations, incantations. Uh, what is you got? One is allowed to smear his hands and legs. Uh, uh, three. Uh, three. One is allowed to heal on Shabbat by whispering. Shakislava, let's say it. Abra kadabra. This is. This is referring to using a healing method involving reciting spirit, scripture. scriptural verses. Verses. Pasukim. Pasukim. Next. Is a bedridden person allowed to insert his feet on Shabbat inside hot water in order to sweat and heal? Anna. Before a person wants to put tazi garachi in order to put his legs in order to sweat the body. To heal yourself. But it says bedridden. Bedridden, you're allowed to. Bedridden, a regular person is allowed. That's it, very good. Mm. Yeah, has to be. A bedridden person is allowed to insert his feet on Shabbat inside hot water in order to sweat and heal. But even if it wasn't bedridden, hot water is fine. You had, you had, yeah? You had that to line because only water. You're sweating. Huh? Sweating. Problem will be sweating. But you're doing healing process here. Huh? It's saying you're doing it for healing. For healing, yeah. So if it's going to be a minor uh, sick person, not allowed to do it. It's with water. There is no substance. Remember, we said the problem of healing is only whenever right. there is a substance involved. Prosta prastai vada. It doesn't have restrictions of healing. But there's no restriction of sweating. Of sweating, if you intend to sweat. Can I run on Shabbat? Now let's see. Haroshu pagoda. I want to run some jogging, mugging. Huh? Can I do that or no? So according to our Torah, it's allowed. Before. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, no, 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 no. That's only if you don't enjoy it. If you enjoy running, says Shulchan Aruch, you're allowed to run on Shabbat. Uh, what about sweating? What about sweating? That's not his says intention. Aruch, you don't away. intend to but, sweat. But here you intend, Papa John. Huh? This, this here, the one we're reading now, is you intend. I'm not sure if he's intending to it sweat. Says here, Rabbi, it he's says. intending to heal. heal. Inside hot water in order to sweat and heal. So, the sweat. Could sweat be. and heal, Rabbi. But here he's not doing any exercise. Here he's just going into hot water. Yeah. Into the, puts his feet in hot water. Putting your feet in hot water is not, since it's only water, the, According to our Torah, Mosna. Push ups. Mosna is allowed by Shabbat. Push ups. Doesn't it cause a tension? Sitting in a sauna? That's already. No, sauna, no. Sauna, it's not because of healing issue. It's a separate gizera. That back in the day, people used to heal up the sauna with wood on Shabbat. Hamim said, don't use it anymore. Is sweating an independent reason for not sitting in the sauna? Do you intend to sweat? Intending to sweat. Also? Yeah. Chacham, Gemara said that Rebbe used to go into sauna on Shabbat. And people used to do on Shabbat patom. 
the heating up the woods, throwing woods into the fire on Shabbat, Tachamim said, don't do it anymore. Because people are belittling the law. They're making a joke out of it. So no, even if you did it before Shabbat, Nilja, that's it, they, they closed the door on it. Like these people didn't break Shabbat anymore. On what? On the, on the hot, water. hot water, on the sauna, that was the problem. Hamam. If people work out, they cause micro tears in their muscles, no? Yeah, it's no problem. That's not your intention. You want to work out, but you're building muscle. Mm-hmm. You want to build muscle. Yeah, it's allowed, it's allowed. To build muscles on Shabbat, it's allowed. Because not you enjoy if it. you enjoy it. You Remember enjoy. the rule. Sometimes Bechor, sometimes Bechor, you don't enjoy. Example, example, your doctor says Bechor, Bechor John. So to have another big, it's another big, it's a choice. Hi, you go right now jogging, mugging, and you really don't like it. <laughs> you wish not to do that. You just go because the doctor says, because your wife says, Lusha, Chobu, just a boy, Kakta. Skoke Mojo Tsirpe. Oh, go already, go already. So you go, not because you like it, because you need to. You forced. You forced to. Shut by. In this case, will be a question on Allah. But if you like it, some people love running. They eat a kaif lani, bigger. Yeah, ha guy John bit. So he will be allowed because he enjoys it. Next. Thank you. Guess number five. Ravadia holds maybe. Are are hemorrhoids allowed to be treated on Shabbat? Didn't we answer that question? Let's see. Uh, but uh, Ravadia holds like the Tzitz Eliezer that it's allowed to treat hemorrhoids on Shabbat. Do you have something else there? Adam? Yeah, yeah. No, whatever you said. The, the point is here, it's allowed to treat it even if it's not only with water. That's the Chidush. Previously, we spoke about Ooh. water. So here's here we're speaking about even with substance. You have them to rely on. Is that because you're suffering? Gimaroi, Shabbat, Shalai Chosh Is he allowed or no? Because he's suffering, no? Is he suffering? So, says Allah, it's allowed. It says it's a very big pain. It's like, like a bedridden situation. Like. Mm. One of the first. Yeah, I was about to say. If you have anything to Shabbat, you can, uh, you can do Chilun Shabbat. Chilun Shabbat on healing, not driving, not driving to the hospital. Healing by taking medication or put, sitting in water to re- relax the Gimaroi. Yeah. Next. Is, uh, <coughs> is, is preventive medicine part of the healing restrictions on Shabbat? This, this bleeding, uh, I mean, this bleeding sometimes uh, to people with hemorrhoids, it's bleeding sometimes. Or, uh, what's his name, uh, Khalid. Inside, Khalid, Khalid. Going to Batman, suddenly you're going to see blood, blood. And if people, he doesn't know, he's going to be in a panic attack. What should we do? And he, he needs to go to the hospital, but they're not going to do anything over there. What should we do? If you have safek of uh, the right, are you saying safek what? Safek sakana? Because of the panic? Yeah. If it's such a degree, yeah. Depends. Some people have different level of fear. Some people small thing. Oh, it's a judgment. It depends on the person. Some people take this fear very bad. They have a very bad level of fear. Some people are easy. Some people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Number eight, how about, let's go, let's go, quick. Uh, this one allowed to heal in the moment, even mm-hmm. no pain on Shabbat. Yeah? One is allowed to heal in the moment. A person is bedridden. He took his ibuprofen. He has no pain. He has pain, he just doesn't feel it. So now he's healthy. Can he, healthy. Can he take uh, medications that he needs to take or no? <coughs> huh? He need to take. 
But it's not bedridden. We said either healthy 100%, allowed to take anything he wants, or sick 100%. Now, the guy that it is sick, but he just numb the pain by those medications. Or, 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 he takes it not to be sick. It is preventive. Preventive. Yeah, it's okay. You said preventive allowed or no? We said allowed. yes. Allowed. Now, what about healing in the moment that he has no pain? Also, For example, right now, also allowed. but the doctor said every day, you got to sit in a bucket of water 10 minutes. Preventive also. Huh? Preventive. Right now, he has no pain. Right. So he's preventing from the pain. It's, yeah. Allowed or no? Allowed. Uh, very good. Next. How would I read? Shalom, bye. Shalom, bye. Shalom, shalom. Yes, me rasha, but I am.